The gentleman yells back. What purpose, gentleman? Texas rise. Request permission to address the House for one minute. The gentleman's recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, it's the shooter, not the gun, not the bullets, not rejection by the Army, not the Internet, not radio talk shows, not the political climate, not people assembling to protest, not the press, and not bold speech that is to blame for the crimes by the terror from Tucson. Hold the assassin accountable. He and he alone should be judged. In this frenzy furrow to make excuses and to find other causes for the crime, Congress itself would do well not to do violence against our Constitution. Those elites, even those in Congress that think they and they alone are now authorized to regulate speech, press, assembly, and the right to bear arms, should understand they cannot use this assault and murder as an excuse to steal away the rights of citizens, all under the false illusion of making us safe from killers. The Constitution should not be imprisoned, for it is the terror of Tucson that should be locked in chains. And that's just the way it is. Gentleman yields back. Gentlelady from uh, Virgin Islands.